Nice of you to drop in. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Julian from Blurred and Now and What? <laughs> no way. Bro, what is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> Yo, what kind of glitch was this? Here I was gonna show off the class I, uh, that I use in this clip, but never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Let's get right to it. Okay, so we're on shipment. I kind of joined in. Oh, would you look at that? I spawned and died. That is a thing I am noticing on this very, very small lab. But now I'm on shipment. But there's a twist. I'm using the M60 light machine gun. Yeah, I said it. Light machine gun. If you ever played Shipment, you know that it's mostly a sub and a saw rifle board. Yeah, ever since the remastered version came out, there's people sniping. I'm not. I'm not joking. I've got sniped on this board. Y'all think I'm joking? I know you guys are writing in the comments like you must be fooling yourself. No. No, I've gotten sniped on this board playing this map. So I said, fuck it. If people sniping everywhere, I'm going to rock out with, it with the M60. See what as I get cleaned up from behind by the helicopter. Hey, man, is it just me? How come every time I get a helicopter, it don't shoot nobody? It does not shoot nobody. It gets taken down in like two seconds. But the, end, but the other team can have a helicopter up for the entire match. And not get shot down once. I don't carry RPGs because I need the extra ammunition magazines and bandolier. That is my perk one normally. Normally that, that's my perk one. But. Man. As crazy as this board is. As rage inducing as this board is. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, when I was playing today however I did not. Have you ever went up against a dude uh, with a super powered M14? And by super powered, I mean his controller was probably either modded or had some control scuffs, had something. Because there's no way in the world this M14 that he was using, it had rapid fire on it. And stopping power. See, now that's interesting on this game is that. You can't have st stopping power and rapid fire at the same time. You can only just have one since it's a perk. And I know this because I actually tried to use the M14 with the higher, uh, with the double tap with the increased rate of fire. And looking down the sights, the kick from the gun was too high to really be effective. So, I, I just said, I'm just not going to use this gun for right now. And, to be honest, bro, when he was shooting me, his gun wasn't jumping like that. So, I was like, man, what in the world is going on here? <clears throat> but, yeah, yeah today, they honestly was a struggle trying to get videos. It was like, I kept getting put on ambush and overgrown, which are two of the worst maps for my playstyle since I'm not using the sniper but I'm using assault rifles and light machine guns um because on those boards and I, I can already feel the rates coming when they bring out that that map that has like them two them two uh tall buildings across the map from each other snipers haven I'm going to be on I, I, I might just skip that map every time it comes unless I'm playing headquarters because man there's no way I'm playing domination or kill confirmed on that I'm gonna get sniped every five seconds and that is not fun uh, other than that uh, to be quite honest I'm really excited uh, for 
these new maps to come out in December. I don't know if you guys heard, but they're back. Um, there, there's a rumor going around that they might be putting supply drops in Modern Warfare Remastered. And I, honestly, I want to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Okay, maybe they might give us some stuff for free. Maybe. But my thing is the only thing they're going to give us for free is the maps. The rest of the maps is coming out. Other than that, we're, we're screwed. Because I know they're bringing back guns like they were the Galil, the... It was like the PP2000. You know, some of the other guns from, from some of the other Call of Duties. And it's like... Okay, cool. Y'all bring these guns back, but I'm not trying to pay for these. You know, I'm not trying to basically gamble to get these and supply drops and everything. No. No. No, it's just stupid. In my my opinion, it makes no sense to do that. Just let us be able to buy the guns outright. You know, in like a five dollar pack or, or whatever. I would have been so mad if I was a dude in that crate that got killed by that. Because <laughs> that's happened to me before. But, um. But so far, I've been enjoying this Modern Warfare Remastered, even though playing the same maps with three of them being very sniper friendly has gotten kind of stale. I believe bringing these new maps, uh, the rest of the maps back, will bring a fresh take. Uh, you know what? No, where Activision or whoever's making the next Call of Duty, whenever that comes out, can go forward if they're really gonna go with this remastered route. The next game I want remastered is World at War. Now I, I know some of y'all, I, I know some of y'all looking at that computer screen like, what? What did he just say? World at War? Trust me, World at War. Outside of them bouncing babies that you can never see, some things that just fly up and kill you. War that war was a fun game. I mean, you can use a tank online in Call of Duty. Let me repeat that: you can use a tank in Call of Duty. Now, normally, if you play Battlefield, oh, that, that, that's like every other match, <laughs> literally. literally that, that's every match you can use a tank, especially if you're playing Conquest. But you can use a tank in Call of Duty. There was this one game of they never brought back that had had a lot of fun on. It was this uh, mode called War, and it was basically like a huge objective game mode. It was like it was like from A to E, and it had I say it was about 12 players in the lobby, but it was just objective that either side needed to complete to gain more momentum. And whoever had the most momentum at the end of the match would win, basically. Uh, man, if, if they remastered War at War, that would be dope. I, I would, I would pre-order that right now. If they, re, if they remaster Modern Warfare 2, I would pre-order that right now. The, the, those are honestly my two most favorite Call of Duties. I had a lot of fun on Modern Warfare, but. War at War and Modern Warfare 2, I think, were the games that really busted it open. And what I mean by that is that War at War uh, brought more co-op, brought more having fun with your friends and family into the game uh, by having co-op story mode. Bro, have y'all ever done that on online co-op story mode? Yo, that was fun. I had fun doing that. And But they also introduced zombies. I I, I want to say War of War had the first zombies iteration. Yeah. Yeah, pl please correct me in the comment section. I, I know some of y'all will. Uh, <laughs> I'm expecting that if I'm wrong. But, but I think with the addition of zombies and having a good multiplayer really pushed uh, Call of Duty as a series to a whole new direction. With the War at War, with Modern Warfare 2, with an already good core game in Modern Warfare, 
Modern Warfare 2 took it to new heights with more perks, good maps, a way more diverse uh, section of guns in every category, and more kill streaks. I mean, the kill streaks were awesome in that game. Now, now what I what I did hate in that game was you know people could run around with a, with akimbo shotguns. That that was terrible. Uh, they need to take tack insert out the game because I will not. I, I will be exposing boosters. I will not be having it. I will not be coming into no random match, hearing that little clicking noise that the attack insert make. Nope. Nope. Yep. You will go straight on YouTube, buddy. I'm, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. <laughs> but uh, but I just want to ask a question. What are you guys' favorite Call of Duty? Uh, so far, what did you start playing Call of Duty? Uh, I may have mentioned this already, but I started playing Modern Warfare with uh, with my dad. Uh, Cause me and my dad are basically both gamers. Uh, we had just finished the story mode. We were like, eh, let, let's check out online. And so when we first got online, we were hooked, and we were like playing that every day, every night, <laughs> just the two of us. So. So Modern Warfare brought back a lot of good memories for me, but I'm really looking forward to these new maps that they got coming. Well, not new exactly, but free maps. I, I love the word free. <laughs> free maps they got coming out in December. Cause one of my favorite maps on this game on in this game period is Wetwork. The boat one, yes. Yes. Night vision time. <laughs> Night vision goggles, silent, silence gun, it's on. It's on. But like I was saying, uh, what's your favorite Call of Duty? What got you into Call of Duty? Uh, you know, with the direction that it's going now, do you have faith in Call of Duty that it will return to the good old days in terms of Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, War of War, Black Ops? Do you think it'll make a return to that, given the direction of the fan base and where their feelings are headed at? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Uh, and, and if you like, and if you like my my kind of little rambling uh, today, <laughs> after that funny glitch, uh, le leave a like and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it would mean the world to me. You know, I, I really enjoy enjoy reading comments and everything. Uh, having a lot of fun you know just getting energized that people actually like what I put out so that that's always a plus but to be honest um what are some of the games you guys are looking for that's coming out recently me I'm looking forward to Tekken and Final Fantasy 15 yes yes I want a fighting game I want to kick ass online using Lars <laughs> well but that's basically it for this video this is julian from blurting out i'm signing off remember to have a, a great day remember to blurt out i'm out of here i think we went 82 and 40 something yeah 82 and 47 goodbye Ooh.